today's going to be another collective empty, so I have a few more piled up in my collection. Before it gets to a crazy amount, I thought I would just film this, break it down for you for these five products that I've just used up. It's, from what I can see, all skincare with a little bit of hair care as well, from some of my favorite brands, a lot of brands you guys will know as well. So do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy my empties and reviews of all the products I've used up and I can definitely do more because obviously I use up loads and I have a cabinet full of unused skincare products so can't wait to get into those once I've finished with the rest of them. So anyway without further ado let's get started. So first I'll show you guys a face mask I have so I'll do with skincare first and this is apologies for the appearance of some of these I've had them for a really long time and yeah they just have gotten a little tattered and battered but I do always cut the products in half if you haven't noticed so basically then you can because this kind of packaging is very inconvenient in terms of getting all the product out I would prefer like the tubs I guess plastic tubs because they're just obviously easier to see how much product is left and you can just remove as much as you want but with these I always cut them in half so that I can get the remainder out I think there is probably one more use in here so I won't throw it away just yet but it's from Boots and it's their Quick Fix Facials range. So it's just a regular 5-10 minute face mask, a liquid face mask. And I don't know if they still sell these. I bought these, um, this one a long time ago. But Boots own brand skincare and face masks are pretty good. I've used their sheet masks and quite a big fan. So you can look this up on my blog as well. Most of these products should have their own review on my blog as well if you want a more in-depth view. And anyway, this one I think was the charcoal one. So yeah, it's got charcoal and dragon fruit. And it says in here that I had 10 facials. It's a really big tube, so unless you apply it also all down your neck, I actually was able to get probably 20 uses out of this, and I have a pretty big face. So it's definitely good value. It's literally like five pounds, a very, very inexpensive face mask. But obviously because it contains charcoal and it's a purifying mask, it's definitely gonna leave your, your skin feeling a lot cleaner. And what did the dragon fruit do? It says it's got vitamin C, so it's supposed to moisturize your skin, make it look brighter. And yeah, it's got a, quite a few really great natural extracts and also this isn't tested on animals because um, Boots and Brand never test on animals so it's cruelty free. And I found, I used it last night and I found that my skin, the texture was a bit smoother. On my forehead my skin did look a little bit softer and yeah, my skin on, oh, how many, okay, I'm going to stop saying my skin. But yeah, it definitely left me feeling a lot smoother and my skin was softer. Definitely left my face feeling a lot softer and smoother. It looked like it had really just been purified, like everything had been drawn out of my pores and it looked, yeah, just a lot healthier and brighter and fresh, like it had been kind of reset to factory settings and it was completely, not dried out, but it was like completely matte and there was just nothing on my skin. It was squeaky clean, so it's the perfect base for me to use the rest of my skincare routine. So I would definitely recommend it. I haven't experienced any redness or dryness or any kind of sensitivity issues and the charcoal itself is really good for drawing out impurities and it's good as like a little end of the week treat where if you've been traveling or living in a city then obviously a lot of pollution will have gotten to your skin so it kind of, I feel like it really does draw it all out. The only downside is that it's meant to be left for five to 10 minutes, but I found that it was only after about 20 that it fully dried. So with like a proper and like thick application, it takes longer to dry. I don't think that's an issue. Like I said, my skin didn't go red afterwards. So I would recommend it. And there's no need to shell out a huge amount on face masks if you ask me. So next is a cleanser that I use pretty much every day. It's micellar water and it's the All Bright Hibiscus from Botanics. I've reviewed this before. I'm obsessed with the Botanics brand in terms of drugstores skincare this one's always my go-to so I won't babble on because I have tons of reviews of this but it was the first time that I was using a micellar water every morning and evening normally I'm not the biggest fan of micellar water um, I'd rather just use like a cleansing oil and then wash my face but I yeah I just really enjoyed using their normal hibiscus range I'm using the cream cleanser now but I just and I didn't find any kind of like dryness or anything from using a micellar water. I've even used their toner as a cleanser and it still worked really well. So hibiscus is meant to be brightening and my skin definitely does look a lot kind of smoother, even toned. I feel like it's partly down to this. It really just leaves my skin feeling very clean and soft and it's around, 
I want to say four or five pounds so it's pretty inexpensive and tons of natural extract so if that sounds like your kind of thing then do go check out our boots and final skincare product I have is an Amara Vichia product I've fe featured these in previous videos as well I have an overview of the brand as well if you'd like to see that and it's the Queen of Hungry mist so obviously a mist you only spray like three or four times on your face and I used it every morning just as a little refresher and it felt really nice it smells amazing and I feel like just having a slightly wet base helps your skincare products kind of blend into your skin and sink in a little bit better than having a completely dry face and I don't know what the extracts are in here but it smells amazing definitely look it up I know I think cult beauty look fantastic those kind of stores should stock this and it's a little bit pricier it's 15 pounds however for a mist that is pretty good value because it lasted me probably four or five months of regular use every morning and mm, just smells like expensive skincare it smells amazing so I loved using that every morning like a really nice little luxurious step to my routine and again it's only 15 pounds I feel like that's not a massive investment for a skincare product so I would repurchase it but I'm using other essence sprays at the moment and yeah that's it for skincare then I have a hair care oh actually I'll show you a body product from Lush this is the Cinder's shower gel so apologies for the appearance but I've had it for a long time and I just never got around to opening it until a couple months ago and it's pretty big bottle 260 grams considering um, it's like a really thick consistency for shower gel it lasted me a really long time like I said about three or four months of daily use and it lathers up really nicely I would apply it to my loofah so I would wet my loofah and then apply that over the top and it lathers up amazingly so I would say like a 10p coin size is more than enough for your whole body so it's definitely good value for money I love when the shower gels have that similar to the body shop as well where they're a little bit thicker and they just lather up really easily and feel really soft on the skin and also the scent is a little strange but I believe this was like their Christmas range it says it's got um, pumpkin seed oil and aloe vera it kind of yeah it has a very Christmassy smell it's obviously a seasonal product but I did enjoy it if you like Lush and their typical products I think you'd enjoy that and I thought the name was really cute cinders and I can't remember the price it was I bought it because it was on sale so I think it was maybe four or five pounds so that is pretty good value I would would repurchase it I have enjoyed pretty much like 99% of Lush products I've used so can definitely recommend the whole brand to you guys and final hair care product I have it's actually argan oil so it can be used on your skin as well I personally wouldn't recommend it um, as like a skin as like a facial oil I feel like it's a little too thick although it might be really good for your skin I'm not sure but they said you can also use it on your nails so as a little nail oil and this one was kindly sent to me by green aesthetics and it's I'm pretty sure it's pure, yeah, 100% natural cold pressed argan oil with no chemicals or preservatives. So it's completely natural, very safe to use, like pure argan oil. And they actually say that for your skin it was, would reduce wrinkles and lines, renews skins, renews skin cells, hydration, elasticity, combats free radicals. So it can be like a really multi-use product, maybe if you have... Maybe if you're a little bit older, this could be a really good nighttime oil. I feel like it would make your skin just like really soft and plump. And then for the hair, it says it hydrates, removes frizz and split ends and contains antioxidants. So and it's apparently meant to reduce dandruff. So overall, again, another really fantastic multi-use, multi-benefit product for your hair. For me, I would just use it on the ends um, like every other day when I would wash it or apply it onto wet hair and it never went really greasy it's obviously a really thick oil so you don't want to like put tons of it on but I would kind of brush it through the, the ends and the lengths and it comes out pretty shiny as you can see a little bit healthier definitely minimizes frizz like my ends look a lot healthier and you can't see any split ends so I feel like it did do a good job I don't know if I'd repurchase it just because I want to try different hair products and I feel like oil used regularly can kind of just weigh my hair down a little bit too much so I'd rather try different types of products but in terms of it being argan oil that is a really great extract to have I know Moroccan oil is a really great brand so I can recommend it to you guys especially if you have thicker hair so those are the five products I had to show you hope you enjoyed and maybe picked up some new recommendations do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time